Hello everyone, thank you for taking some time to watch this week's update video. I hope that you had a wonderful week and that you're looking forward to the upcoming weekend. If you're watching this video on Friday, December 8th, a very happy Feast of the Immaculate Conception to you. Today's feast is a very, very important day. A day when we celebrate the fact that God preserved his mother, the Blessed Mother, from original sin, from the first moment of her conception in her mother's womb. Why? So that she could be a worthy dwelling place for her son. That if he was going to become man, take on human flesh, he would need a mother. He wanted to enter our world just like all the rest of us do uh, with a human mother. So he preserved Mary to be that vessel. Uh, as the angel Gabriel says to her at the Annunciation, nothing will be impossible for God. So he knew that um, what Jesus would do by his death and resurrection and the graces that he won for us and, and in view of that, um, he preserves her beforehand uh, so that she can be his mother. Mary is the, the first redeemed by her son. Um, she's not above uh, redemption. She's redeemed by her son and uh, is full of grace because of that redemption. And um, that also means that she's not uh, uh, kind of above us as human beings. She is a human being. She's one of us. Um, she is... Um, full of grace, which we uh, should have been, um, but because of Adam and Eve's sin, we're not. But we look to Mary as an example, as um, um, we can live with sanctifying grace now in our hearts by our baptism and actual graces that God bestows upon us. And she serves it as an example of how to use those graces in our everyday lives. And yes, it's true, we do have to struggle um, through that, but but she is our shining example of what our humanity can be. And uh, of course, this feast comes in the midst of our celebration of Advent, remembering that the Lord will come back again, um, whether that be at the end of our lives or, or at the end of time, whichever comes first. Um, and in that moment, we hope to be found living in God's grace uh, so that we can be preserved in that grace forever in heaven. So ultimately, that's the goal of our lives. That's what Mary wants for us. And every gift that was given to Mary was given uh, for the sake of our faith in her son. So she wants us to be with them forever in heaven. And that's the great good news of this feast day. So I hope you're having a wonderful feast day. Uh, we do have adoration of the Blessed Sacrament going on in the church all day today until 7 p.m. So if you'd like to come in for some quiet uh, prayer time, uh, that opportunity is available today until 7 p.m. We're getting uh, closer and closer to the celebration of Christmas, uh, which I'm sure comes as no surprise to you. Um, I hope that uh, to prepare for Christmas this year, you might consider celebrating the Sacrament of Reconciliation to uh, kind of dust out, uh, clean out all those cobwebs that uh, we let grow in our souls uh, because of our sins. And uh, confession sweeps them all out of there. Um, let's let's uh, shine God's light uh, into our souls more fully. Uh, so that we can live by his grace. And the sacrament is, uh, is a gift to us. Um, it can be hard sometimes to come to terms uh, with the things that we've done wrong or to even just speak them. Um, but once we uh, speak them, uh, God can forgive them and uh, we don't have to uh, be held bound by them anymore. So the opportunities for, com for uh, special Advent opportunities for confession are coming up. Uh, that's December 18th and 20th here at the parish. Uh, in the email that I sent to you today, it has the special confession times for all of the parishes in Harford County, if you would like to visit one of the other parishes. Um, and we will be providing an examination of conscience, as always, uh, to help you with confession, uh, to know what you need to say, uh, what you need to ask uh, God forgiveness for. So it's a great gift, the sacrament, and uh, I hope you consider giving yourself that gift this Christmas season. Uh, just a reminder that the fourth Sunday of Advent is Christmas Eve, uh, which means that we have to attend Mass uh, twice uh, in as many days uh, for the for the Sunday obligation and then also the Holy Day obligation. So 
Uh, you can't uh, can't get a twofer uh, by going on uh, Christmas Eve evening. It doesn't cover both of them. Um, I hate talking about mass in terms of obligation. Uh, that's not at all what it should be. Uh, but just so that we're all clear about that, that's why I, I keep uh, bringing this up because I know uh, I'm going to get questions once it gets a little bit closer. So thanks for taking some time to watch this week's video. I hope you have a wonderful weekend, and I look forward to seeing you at Mass this weekend. God bless you.